everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us growing one big family and i appreciate all the support i can get i want to mention that if the video is too fast for you on my tutorials up top there's three little buttons on the right hand corner for most of you for some of you it's on your um settings as you go to the video uh, for the three little buttons up top, click there. It tells you to slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also, turn the CC caption, which is right next to the three little buttons, so you can read all the stitch calling that I'm doing. Down here, everything will be written. You could also choose the language you like by just clicking on the three little buttons and go to the language you would like, and you would have it on your own language, everything written down here. So I also want to mention thank you so much for the people that have came through for the thread and have donated some money either through the super thanks or through my PayPal account. Now, when you do the super thanks, uh, YouTube itself takes 30% of whatever you're donating through there. Uh, obviously, PayPal, um, they don't take anything, but choice is yours. You can do whatever you'd like as long as you have it in your heart to help out the women in need of threat. And I thank you in advance, and they do too. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. Also, sharing is caring. And um, invite your friends to the channel. I also have the crochet uh, group, private group, if you'd like to be in the private group. All you have to do is request, and one of my monitors will uh, review as long as you have a profile picture and accept you into the group. I also have a crochet page. You can follow me through there on Facebook, of course. This is all Facebook. Also Instagram, if you need any help with creating uh, some patterns and you're stuck and you have Instagram, you can message me through Instagram. It's much easier and faster to get a hold of me. I also have TikTok. Everything is on the description box. All the video links, if I have part one, two, three, also is in the description box below the video. There's a little arrow like a V right on the hand, right hand side below the video you click on there it opens up that page and all the links are there so thank you once again we are going to get started uh, please be careful if you're involved into the crochet groups there's a lot of scammers um, and they launch uh, links with uh, bits and cuts these are scammers they will rob you your identity and all your information on your phone or your computers don't open those sites up it's extremely important that you are careful because there's a lot going on into the crochet groups nowadays. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to create a small doily, which with this pattern, you can go as big as you'd like. You would just have to end in odd number. And so we can continue the next row, which is just double crochet. Because I do so many patterns with this motive, I do have a base pattern with this um, motive tutorial, which I'll leave the link below, and you can create this pattern as a doily, or um, the edging will be like uh, popcorn, almost sort of like a, a small flower around it, which is perfect for any type of edging on any pattern that you're doing, especially for like kitchen uh, towels and things like that, decorations or bathrooms or, you know, the bathroom towels and and so on. I mean, it's good for so many uh, different reasons. This was a special request uh, from one of my um, members in my Facebook, of course, and crochet uh, group. Um, which she got this uh not this specific pattern but the outing which i believe i have a doily already with that edge i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm almost 95 percent sure i'm just too lazy to go look for it now it's been a long time ago i have created but i'm almost sure that i do have the same exact edging so this was a special request from miss lydia i hope you're gonna enjoy it and create this uh, beautiful um, doily or pattern whatever you're gonna use it for very simple so i'll leave the link below in the description box which is very uh, simple for people that cannot do the magic circle you would do a six chain i have 12 double crochets inside of that circle 
and then two on uh, row two, two double crochets per space, one chain space between the groups of two. And then it's just an increase on the last double crochet. So you'd put two together on the last double crochet, and then double crochet, double crochet, two together, double crochet. So it keeps uh, increasing. So we have one double crochet, uh, row two, two double crochet, row three, three double crochet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, even if you don't want to go to the tutorial, uh, the thing is, I have to leave it below because there is quite a bit of new people and beginners that want to create and not sure yet how to go about. So it helps everybody else. But very simple. I did the magic circle on this one. My 12 double crochets, second row, two double crochets per space, one chain space between them, third row. First double crochet on the second two together, one chain space between them. So then you keep going on from there. So I'm just going to continue. I'm using a four ply 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, but Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker, so the pattern will become bigger. So I'm on my row 10 now. And row 10, I'm doing a single, two chain, coming into the next space. And double crochet so it's going to be a very short tutorial and one uh, per space so I'm still going to do my increase on my last double crochet here so at this point I have 10 double crochets on this motive right because it's an increase at the end. So two, four, six, eight, ten. But I'm coming in my one chain space and I'm doing one double crochet. So this row ten will be exactly like this all the way around. And thank you for the request, Miss Lydia. I hope you're going to enjoy this, okay? So um, I'm going to continue mine and then I'll meet you at the end. This is row 10. So I did my motors until row 9 because it's just a small doily for the special request. But you can go as long the size you want by keep adding rows and finish at odd numbers so that you can create this row of just double crochets. Okay, so I finished row 11. I'm going to come back in again and do a single two chain. This will equal my double crochet. Next space, double crochet. So this row is just going to be a repeat of double crochets. So one double crochet per space and then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with a different color. To create the popcorn, it's almost like flowers. So one double crochet per space, or actually where we have the increase, we can do another increase. I think it's best because then we can work the pattern if we're missing some um, some stitches or something we need to figure out at the end. I'm creating this as I'm going. I know I have a similar pattern, but not necessarily the same as this one. But the edging is exactly almost 95% sh uh, sure that it's the same thing. Okay, so double crochet or double crochet on your increase, just do another increase and then one per space. I'll meet you at the end and I'm cutting my thread. Okay, you guys. I'm going to use pink just because I have so much extra and since this is a sample it doesn't matter at this point which color I use. So I'm coming in with pink. Uh, we did row 11. I'm going to come in with a single. It doesn't really matter where you start but I've started on the first one of this motive here. But it makes no difference really where you start. So chain one, two, and three. I'm going to skip one, two on my third one 
I'm going to do five double crochets. This is going to be for my popcorn. So I have four and five. I'm going to come inside my first one here and I'm going to close it up and one, two, three chain again. I'm going to skip one, two, coming in my third one with a single. If your chains are too tight, your tension is too tight, then do a four chain instead of three. One, two, three. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. One, two, on my third one. Again, I'm going to do five double crochets for my popcorn. These are my little flowers that are going to be in the center of what we're going to create next. So five double crochet. Come in the first one. Slip stitch. Tighten it up. One, two, three. Skip one, two, come into the third one with a single. And again, one, two, three. So it's just a repeat. Skip one, two, on the third one, five double crochets. So this is row 12, 1, 2, 3, skip 1, 2, come on the third one. We're going to do this all the way around. Like I said, if you find that it's pulling too much since we're going around, then do a 4 chain instead of 3. And I'll meet you at the end. We'll see if we need to make an adjustment at the end because sometimes it could be that we won't have three space. We'll only have one space, so we'll need to back it up a bit and fix it. But I'll meet you at the end and let you know how it's going. Okay, everyone, so I've reached my last popcorn, and it just fits perfect into place. I have don't have to do any adjustments, so we skip one, two, and on the third one where we started with a single, I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to come in with my weight. Okay, you guys. So I'm coming in with my weight and I'm going to do a triple. So we have turned twice on the, the hook. I'm going to come right below where we have the popcorn in that double crochet here. And I'm going to take out two, two, and the last two. I'm trying to turn my thread here so I can hide it at the same time. I'm going to come in where we have the, the three chains just before the popcorn. And I'm going to do four double crochets. So I have my second already. my third and my fourth crochet. I'm going to do triple again. I'm coming exactly right inside where we did the popcorn. I just want to make sure we have enough lighting here. Because sometimes this, oh, I think this is too, maybe this way. Take out two take out two and the last two and do one two three chain we're going to do peacock and again triple in the same space as we did in the middle of the popcorn take out two take out two and the last two coming down on the chain and doing four double crochets again. So very simple. And then triple again in the same space as we did this triple. So we're just going to come behind. Take out 
take out two, take out two, and the last two. And again, triple, and coming in where we have the other popcorn. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. I'm going to come in my three chain here, just before the popcorn, and do my four double crochets again. So it's just a repeat now. So we have three, four. I'm going to do my triple again. I'm going to come right in the center where we close the popcorn and do my triple. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. One, two, three. This would look beautiful as a big centerpiece. And then come back in after done the uh, picot. Triple again in the same space. So you have two triples in the middle of the popcorn. Coming down on the chain, four, Double crochets. Remembering that this is a small doily, but you can go as big as you want. Triple again. I'm coming in where we have the other triple right on the center of our popcorn. Of course, my stitch is so tight always, right? Let's try that again. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. Coming into the next one. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. And four double crochets on the chain going up before the popcorn. Neighbors are hammering. There's never a dull moment here. We have three and four. Triple right in the center of the popcorn. One, two, and three. Chain three, picot. Again, triple in the same space. And this is how it looks like. So it's just a repeat now all the way to the end. Four double crochets. Coming down on the chain. Triple. Come in where you have the other one. Coming in to the side and Take out two, take out two, and the last two. Triple again, come into the next one. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. And then the four double crochets going up on the chain. So it's just a repeat now, all the way around the same way. This is pretty much for this tutorial. Thank you, Lydia, for your request. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and everybody else. I'm going to complete it and then take a few pictures. And um, I'll see you on the next tutorial. And I'll leave the measurement to the small doily because sometimes people look for just small doilies and they don't know how many uh, chain stitch and stuff that they should do to it. But this is a pretty little, I'm sure I have similar, at least similar edge, that's for sure. Okay, so this is so cute. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. I hope this wasn't too blurry out. This is horrible when it blurs out. I'll just do it one more time in case it was too blurry. And the neighbors are hammering, and there's never a dull moment. Okay, let's see if I can just 
just a touch bit more okay so again oops now we did the triple so we're coming down with four three four we'll do triple come behind where we have the other one I don't want to pull all my threads this is just a tricky part is only on this one here once you get the hang of it you'll fly with it okay and again triple into the next one much easier to do that triple right and four double crochets one two, three, and four. And I'm going to name this one because even though the edging is not mine, I'm going to name it Lydia because she requested the pattern is mine, so I've created this design with this edge. Um, so I'll name it uh, Lydia. And just because she requests and because she's so lovely, and um, why not, right? Okay, so basically again, triple, come down, into the back, into the side, bring it out, take out two, take out two, and the last two, and triple again. Very simple to create, and it makes a beautiful pattern. And of course, you can make a bigger, two small side ones and a bigger centerpiece, attach them together, and it becomes a magical uh, table runner. Okay, so for double. Okay, everyone, so this is the end result. Very small, small doily. 26 centimeters. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this journey with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give a thumbs up on that video. It's extremely important to have the video being recognized. It's the only way we creators can continue on. Thank you for your donations for the women in need. Thank you for your tips, your donations for myself. And if you haven't yet, I'm considering why well, you can give it through the super thanks right below the video or in the description box. There's my PayPal account. The only difference is with YouTube, they take 30% off of whatever you offer, which it's okay by me, whatever is suitable for you, that's fine. But just, I need to let you know. Thank you everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.